What's up, everybody? My name is Jay Wass, and welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Now, if you remember, if you saw the last Forza Horizon video, we took Rally, we took form of the drift cars and made them rally cars to see if they would do any good. And the two that we did test did amazing as trip, uh, rally cars. Jesus Christ, it makes it up to two. They blew me away, and they won the race so far ahead of the competition. It was mind blowing how well they did. So in this video, we're going to do something a little bit different. No, we're not going to take rally cars and try to make a formula trip. That's not what we're doing here. We're going to be taking, <laughs> as much as I want to do that, what we're going to be taking is like extreme off-road vehicles and try to drift them, see how well they do. I'm very curious about that. It's something I did in one of my videos on my old channel, but I only tested one vehicle. It was just because I wanted a super wheel spin. Now, I actually haven't compiled a list yet, so I'm going to be trying out just maybe three or four for this video and see how well they do. Now the cars we'll be using in this category are in the following. Off-road pickups and 4x4s, sport utility heroes, trucks, unlimited buggies and unlimited off-road UTVs and vans and utility. We're gonna be using anything in these categories just because they would usually be used for off-roading. Now just because I haven't messed with the Titan Warrior concept, this could be the first one I try. It's a big truck, weighs 7,300 pounds and only stock only has 310 horsepower. How is that? How are you going to put that small amount of number into a 7,000 pound truck? We're about to make this light and with a lot of power. And we're going to drift this thing. Now I have no budget limit so I'm going to just do whatever I have to to make this thing go sideways. Alright, we got this thing fully modded but way, um, we weigh 2,000 pounds less. Have 1,700 freaking horsepower. That's one of the reasons why I want to take off-roading vehicles and test them out. Because usually they have these insanely powerful engines. It did not have true suspension, but I'm going to just go ahead and slam it myself, increase the angle, and stiffen the suspension. Just to make it work the way I want it to. Yeah, I know I said I would slam it, but this is literally the lowest I can get it. I'm so disappointed about that. I don't think you'll have any problems drifting though. I don't know which drift to use this time. All right, let's try this one out. We're gonna be trying to beat maybe the top score or simply beat 70,000. My top score on this is 125,796. I did that with the Starion ESI-R. That thing was a beast when I made a drift build out of it. So apparently somebody beat my score with a Hudakar. Bastard. Okay, I paused the game because I smell what smells like electrical burning. That was my laptop, so I went to my laptop and started sniffing, which is just a weird thing to be doing if someone were to walk into you, walk in on you. Uh, but I don't smell it coming from my laptop. I'm confused on where that might be coming from. So if this room catches on fire, I don't think you guys would be seeing this video. <laughs> oh, oh god, oh god, it's too, it, it's gonna sound so wrong, but it's too damn big. I spun out, I spun out. It's not going well. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh, I spun out again. <laughs> okay, I somewhat got to figure it out now. Now, we're actually going to be doing two attempts. While we did definitely beat the high score, I did want to do a two attempt thing now so I can get the track figured out and I can give it another go. But only two attempts. I can't go any further. Oh, <laughs> that's hilarious. I somehow did better on my first attempt and I kept spinning out. Alright, the highest score is the winner for that, but it doesn't matter. We're I guess it doesn't matter. I should probably run that down. Oh, wait, so we've proven the warrior concept is not too bad. I, I would say 112,000 is probably an average score in that drift zone because the highest points that you need to even get three stars is 70,000. All right, well, the next one I'm going to try is the F50 SVT Raptor from 2011. Now, I don't remember if I told the story. I think I have. But this particular Raptor, this generation, when it was first introduced, they took it from the showroom floor straight to the Baja 100 or 1000, whichever it is, and it won its very first race straight off the showroom floor. That means you could take this thing stuck, enter it into the Baja, and win it. Now, I'm not saying you should do that if you don't have any experience doing that stuff, but still, it's pretty awesome. That just looks wrong. Why? Why would you do- no, I'm not doing that. Once again, we got a big truck weighing a lot less due to the weight reduction, obviously. Why am I telling you this? All I know is it weighs 4,400 when it weighed 6,000. It's got the same old good engine, 1,700 horsepower. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, once again, only had rally suspension as the option. Alright, here goes nothing. Oh, crap. Well, that didn't go well. It's actually not doing too terrible. It's really not doing that bad. I say that as I spin out. All right, 102,000 is the first attempt, but it's a lot more controllable than the Titan. I'll say that much. 110,000, just 2,000 points shy from beating the Titan. 
So the Titan's still in the lead. I don't know if I want to even bother looking at this. I've never actually driven this in this game just because it's a Maserati. But you know what? Screw it. I'm trying. Alright, let, let me explain something here. I don't like Maserati that much. Now, let me explain why. If you ever look at, say, a 2008 Gran Turismo, alright? You know, 2008, that's a pretty nice car. I'm not even gonna lie. It's a pretty nice car. But then you look up a 2021 Gran Turismo, then you realize there really isn't that much that's different about them. It's a GTR situation. A GTR hasn't changed in like the last 10 years. I'm not going to buy a car that's looked at the exact same or almost the same in the last 10 years or, or more than that. It's just, it's pointless to me. I want a car that looks different, you know? Bruh. <laughs> yeah. All right. There's only race and spring dampers and dampers and crap like that, but... Race doesn't have that angle. Usually Rally does, so I'm gonna stick this on there. I already have a suspicion this is probably gonna do better than the other ones, just because of what motor is in it. And also the fact that it weighs just that much less. 1200 horsepower. Good old classic drift motor that we used in my first uh, Big Air Drift Car video. I chose this because, you know what? Just like that logo on that side, a Maserati is just the status. That's all it is. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, it's not doing too horrible. Right after I say that, I spin out. That's just fantastic. Oh, great, I failed it. How, how does that? Uh, first attempt was failed. All right, come on, let's go to the second attempt. So I'm just gonna say, honestly, if I hadn't hit that tree, I probably would have beat the other vehicles. 103 for the Maserati. All right, well, the next car I choose to be the last one that I do. Honestly, I don't think I want to go for another pickup because I've been using those, those like crazy. Let's do something that's extreme off-road or possibly just a buggy. You know, just something that you would not expect to be see drifting around a track. All right. All right, I'm doing it. I, I got to take this and I'm going to make it a drift truck. I mean, I, I, mean, I mean, is this even a truck? This was literally one of those cars. I did not have any suspension upgrades. You couldn't change the tires. It's so limited, and I'm about to sit here trying to drip this thing. It is not going to be fun. The only thing I did change was the tire size, because that's the only thing I could change. Everything else is already on there. Freaking whopping 1,800 horsepower. You can't beat that number. And that is probably the most powerful vehicle in this game. Ah, oh, this feels stupid. This feels stupid. This feels stupid. This feels stupid. Ah, oh, let's see how this goes. I almost don't want to move. Like, I'm, a part of me is legitimately terrified. 1,800... <laughs> I can't get that number out of my head. 1,876 horsepower. That, that number's like burnt into my brain and I'm about to do this. Ah, here we go. Holy crap. Oh my god, dude. Dude, holy crap. This thing can hold the angle. 107,000 on the first attempt. I was being so cautious throughout that entire thing. I was worried about spinning out. Second attempt, here I come. All right, caution's about to be thrown out the window. Let's do this. Holy crap, my guy, this thing can hold angle. I can't believe how much angle this thing can hold. I got such a huge grin on my face right now. I did worse that time. How did that do worse? How did the Titan freaking win? What the hell? I'm doing this one more time just to see if I can get any improvements. I think it legit just might be too much of a handful. I'm gonna get a bigger run up this time. Bro, okay. I don't think this thing has a limit when going reverse. I just, it went up to 80 before I stopped. All right, I had my first spin out, damn it. Oh, oh, I wish that counted. I really wish that counted. I got 116,000 that time. All right, well, it looks like a Titan wins this one. But that is all the time I got for this video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please, with that love of God, hit that like button. If you'd like to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.